welcome to day number four. Welcome to day number seven. Day number 12. Welcome to Do It Heartily. Aloha, welcome to day 231 on the Do It Heartily channel. Back to part two of Brother Mike's message on a biblical view of dating. I'm going to turn it over to him now. Wait physically. Wait physically. If we don't wait for the sexual act in marriage, then we're going to run into trouble. You may think it's all glorious to start with, but that leads to trouble. Paul said to Timothy, flee youthful lust. Guys, let me tell you something. I'll move on to the next point. You know, the, the, the joy and the pleasure of, of being with somebody of the opposite sex, God made that. God made that pleasure. And here's something you may never have thought of. God never meant for that to stop. And you may say, hey, I'm dating this girl or I'm dating this guy and we're going to, you know, we're going to go all the way up to here, but we haven't had sex yet. You know, God didn't mean, mean for you to put the brakes on just up until the act of sex. He meant for that thing to just keep on going, but he made it for married people. And so don't involve yourself into something in which you find yourself having to put the brakes on because it's hard. It's like, it's like trying to stop a rolling boulder coming down the hill. You can't do it. You're going to get squashed. You're going to get hurt. So don't even jump into you know, the physicality because that's just going to lead you to want to go to something else. And we'll always say, hey, we won't get involved in that. We'll, we'll draw the line right here. Well, let me tell you something. Satan is going to tempt you and entice you to move the line to something else. Wait, wait, wait. It's better to wait and to know it than to wait and blow it. Principle number two, don't look for the right one. Be the right one and you'll find the right one. Let me say that again. Don't. Look for the right one, be the right one, and you'll find the right one. Guys, it's not a man hunt or a woman hunt, okay? I right, don't look, you know, behind every bush and under every rock and, you know, every place you go. If you're the right kind of man spiritually that God wants you to be, he will bring the right one to you in his time. I'm telling you, he will. For me, it, this is kind of an interesting story. The first time I ever saw my wife-to-be was at a tray return in college cafeteria. You know, of all places... But God, that was God's will. That was God's timing for me. Now, there's nothing wrong with having interest and in looking and saying, oh, that girl's attractive, man, she's pretty. And, you know, oh, that guy's good looking, stuff like that. Hey, I understand that. And yeah, you know, God made us to feel like that. And those are good feelings as long as they're harnessed and put in the right time. But you concentrate on being what God wants you to be. And in his time, he'll bring that girl to your tray return. Eventually, you know, Pastor Adam has a great story with he and Kathleen of how God brought her to him at the right moment, the right time, in the right place. For him, it was a little bit later. He waited. And let me tell you what, he's glad that he did. Kathleen is glad that she did. But they learned to be what God wanted them to be. And in God's time, he brought that one to them. You know, it's interesting. God made Eve out of Adam's rib out of Adam's rib, not just any rib, but of Adam's rib. And that rib fit perfectly into Adam's side. God has a young lady picked out for you who's perfect for you. This June, my wife and I will celebrate 30 years together, 30. Let me tell you something, she's, not only is she perfect, but she's perfect for me. She is perfect for me. I couldn't be with anybody else, no way, no how. And I hope she feels the same way about me. And if you'll wait and be what God wants you to be, he will bring not just anyone, not just pick one out of the group, not just, you know, some girl that, that looks good to everybody. He'll bring the one that fits you just perfectly, tailor-made just for you. He created you. He knows what you need. He knows what works well with you. Don't settle, guys. Don't settle for just some girl that looks good in a pair of tight jeans or some shorts. Don't settle for that. You get a little bit older and you panic a little bit. Don't settle. Wait on the Lord. Be what God wants you to be and he'll bring her to you in his time. Principle number three, how you get them is how you're going to keep them. How you get them is how you're going to keep them. I think you need to ask yourself this question. Why do they keep dating me? 
Why do they keep dating me? Do they date me because I'm athletic? Let me tell you something. You're going to lose that sometime. You're going to lose that athleticism. If you're, going, if you're keeping them because you're a good athlete, you know, whatever the case may be, then you better keep being a good athlete till the day you die because you're going to lose them. Okay? If you're keeping them because you have money, then you better get used to opening that wallet and always giving them that debit or that credit card. Because how you get them is how you're going to keep them. Girls, if you're getting a guy because, uh, you know, you look good, well, I tell you, you got your work cut out for you for the rest of your life. You better keep looking good or he's going to find another skirt that looks good eventually. They will. How you get them is how you keep them. And I think in a relationship, in a dating relationship or courtship or whatever, the really the only thing that needs to be exposed is the heart of that person. And if you get them with your heart and with your love for the Lord, then that's how you'll keep them. A heart in love with God will love another person's heart who's in love with God. You get that? Okay, if, if you just like the same uh, you know, meal at McDonald's together and you think that's love, let me tell you something. <laughs> that's, that's not going to get you anywhere. How you get them is how you're going to keep them. If your heart loves God and her heart loves God, those two hearts will fall in love together. Principle number. All right, he's got more to his message, but I'm going to stop right there. We love you. God loves you even more. And aloha.